Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, La Gordi Seats, and today I am with the warden, my grandma. <laughs> today we are making some tamales, and my grandma's gonna explain the first step that we did. Hi guys, we boiled the meat so it could get really soft, and then uh, I'm gonna shred it in a little bit. What this kind is, of meat is it, mama? This is beef, it's uh, chuck. Chuck roast, uh -huh, yeah. Chuck roast. Me gusta el chuck roast porque tiene poquita uh, mantequita. So it has a little bit of fat, makes yeah. it more moist. Muy, more moist. Uh -huh. Y aquí tengo mi pork. Yes, está, it's getting soft already, so I'm gonna shred this too. Yeah. It's me pork. Mmm, that's my favorite. Uh huh. Ahí tiene cebito también para que salgan bien sabrosos. So we just boiled them with onion and a head of garlic, right, ah, Grandma? To yes. give it all that good flavor. Yes, I don't put salt until I cook the meat with the chili. All right, so we'll be back on the second part, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, my grandma's in charge of shredding the beef. Is it hot, Mama? Yes, it's hot. I need to let it cool down a little bit, but aquí estoy, mira, shredding the beef. <laughs> then I'll do the, the pork. Mm-hmm. And I'm in charge of cleaning the dried chilies. We use uh, chile pasilla. Uh, my grandma's secret is the chile California. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, we don't need the guajillo. I accidentally got that out. That is amazing. That's and then amazing. we use the New Mexico mild and New Mexico sweet. So I will go ahead and show you how to clean your chilies. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to clean the chilies. Um, you want to break the stem off at the edge. And no, I'm not using gloves because it's going to be hard for me to get the seeds off. Um, because sometimes these chilies can be a little sticky after you've handled some of them. You're going to use a knife. I use one that's rounded so I don't, um, so that way I don't stab my fingers. And you just draw one line up. You're going to open it, let the seeds fall out. And then if you see there's some stuck, I just use it to use the knife to scrape those off. Okay, and then once I clean the seeds, I'm going to stick them in my pot over here. I'm going to add some really hot water um, so that way they can be soaking. So let me get a few going for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do another one for you guys so that way you guys can see. Sometimes they're already off the shell, but then there's some that are really stuck. So I just clean it as such. And then I will be back to show you guys how much chili I cleaned. And now that they've been soaking for a while, we're going to take them out, stick them in the blender. And then we're going to strain them so they don't have such a thick pulp. Alright, now it's time to shred the pork. And I got my cousin Aries Love here with me. Hey. She's going to help. I'm going to teach her how to make the tamales since my grandma taught me and my auntie, uh, Mama Appetite. She shared her recipe with me. So I'm going to attempt to recreate it. Um, we don't take out the fat and we leave in the onions because it gives, gives it um, a lot more flavor. And it does have a bone. So we're going to go ahead and shred that and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm sorry I forgot to record the part where I was adding the ingredients. Um, but this is 10 pounds of masa. Um, I added lard. I added less salt than what we usually do. Um, I got baking powder and also the juice from the beef that we did. Um, and then once you get it to a desired consistency, then it's ready. I like to use the hand mixer because it blends all the ingredients really well. So I'll go ahead and um, I'll be back when we start doing the embarramiento de los tamales. All right, guys. So grandma is going to make the roux for the yeah. chile rojo for the beef tamales. Um, she likes to add garlic to hot oil. That way it'll take um, the taste of flour away. Mm -hmm. Have to uh, uh, do your, masa, your uh, flour really brown. Oh, when you add the flour in there, you got to yeah. toast it really good. Mm -hmm. 
And about how much flour do you use, Mama, or you just eyeball it? I just eyeball it, mija. I don't like to use too much because then it'll get really, really thick. Mm. Keep on stirring it so I can not see it. Oh, guys, the clump. Let's go. All right, the chili, babe. Can you pour it in there for Grandma? Yep. Okay, let me take out the garlic. All right. Okay. Little by little? Yeah. Throw it in there. Mm -hmm. There, there, there. Oh. There you go. Mm, it smells really good. There you go. Mmm, that looks amazing. Can you put a little bit of juice? Of meat juice? Meat? Uh huh. Of the meat juice? Yes. Here. I got it. Oh. You tell me one, girl. Yeah. Like one or two. Okay. One. Yeah, because I don't want it. I don't want the, the sauce too too thick. I think. What do you think? Like right there. Uh -huh. So we added two ladles of the beef broth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goody, goody, goody. All right. And are you going to add the meat to that, Grandma? Or yeah, I'm going to add the meat. Okay. Uh -huh. Should I add the salt? Oh, yeah. You can add the salt and the cumin. Okay, so Grandma added the sea salt, freshly cracked, mm -hmm. and we're going to add about two to three teaspoons, how huh, much? Of the cumin. We like it cumin-y. Here we go. Okay, mijo, give me the meat. Okay. Mm -hmm. It all goes in the chili. Mm -hmm. Secrets <laughs> in the sauce. The secrets in the sauce. Hijo, la se me está haciendo agua la boca. Your mouth is getting watery, mom? Yes, my mouth is watering already. Mm. Good grief. It smells good. It smells amazing, huh? Uh, you got a good skull on that. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Que chulana. Que chulana. Beautiful. Chile. Mm. Oh, and we also put our corn husk um, to to soak to soak in uh, hot water, so that way they can start getting soft, and that way they're more manageable. Yep. To wipe the moss on it. Mm hmm. And that looks bomb. Yeah. All right, we'll be back when we're ready to. Wipe them tamales with the masa. <laughs> All right, this is the color you want your tomatillo. Um, we boiled it, but we put less water because we don't want them to bust like this. I had a couple of them that <laughs> did pop on me. So we're just going to blend those. And then we have our, um, our jalapenos and our serranos boiling. And depending on how spicy you like your green chili... Um, you're going to add either more serrano or less. So if you like it less spicy, you add more jalapeno than serrano. And if you do like it spicy, you add more serrano than jalapeno. 
And then to this, we're going to add cumin. And I like to add um, a little bit of the chicken bouillon, uh, the one with tomato, because it gives it a lot of flavor. So I'll go ahead and be back when it's ready. Oh. All right. And then for the green pork ones, we like to add diced chile tatemados. Um, they're the long green New Mexico chilies that are toasted on the comal. Roasted. Roasted. Mm -hmm. um, and you take the skin off and take out the seeds. Yep. And then once they're all de-seeded and stuff, you're going to dice them and add it to your um, pork meat. Like that. Mm -hmm. Here you go. All right, now we're going to do the green chili. My grandma added the oil and she's adding in the flour. Mm -hmm. So she's just going to mix mm -hmm. until it gets nice and brown. Oh, yeah. The same is with the red. Uh, just like the red chili. chili. Oh, she needs the whisk, cousin. Oh, yeah. The whisk is better. There you go, mama. Mm -hmm. It's clean already. Yeah. Que se haga brown. Mm. I'll take the garlic out. This is not bad. That way the flour doesn't have that taste. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to put the green chili? Okay, so my cousin Aries is going to put the green salsa in. Yeah. Ooh. Right there. Right there is fine. Oh, sound that bubble. There you go. Now she's just gonna clip it. it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it smells delicious. Thank you. Oh, okay, Miha, can you give me the meat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's by you. Okay. Oh, it smells so good, Mama. Oh, I know, Miha. Okay. Now we're going to add the pork. Mm -hmm. I need a little bit juice from of the pork. The, the pork. Oh, it's over there in that big pot on the counter. Over there. You could use that coffee cup that's hanging on the dish rack. It's clean. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, cuz. Mmm. -hmm. All of it, or just... Mm, yeah, mama. We might need some more salsa, huh? Uh, I don't know. Let How me much? See. One cup or two? Let me Hold see. on, Chris. Maybe like two. Go ahead, Maria. Mmm. Well, I would say one. I would say add more chile instead of yeah. Juice. Give me the like more chili. chili. Yeah. You read my mind. Mm-hmm. Cause you were always on my Hold mind. Hold on, Hold on. You got it, ma? Yeah, right here. I would say one more, huh? Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Yum. Yeah. You want to get the green chilies? Yes, yeah. please. The diced roasted chiles. Yummy. For my tummy. Mm. I got to take out the... What? The oh, just leave the garlic. I love the garlic. It's, yeah. I love the garlic. Go ahead, Mika. Yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I was going to get a whole nother salsa. More salsa? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to need some more salsa, Mika. Look at this. Good thing I made a lot of green salsa, huh? Yes. Bien rica. Mira. Woo. Yeah. Chale. More salsa. Echa. There you go. Mira. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
My mouth is watering. Mm -hmm. este I think the, that's perfect consistency, yeah, huh? This is the filling for the the green tamales. Oi, Mia, put it up. Oh. Put the, the heat up. Yeah. Then it'll start boiling mm -hmm. and then bubble 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 in trouble yeah, bubbling and we'll let it rest for a little bit and then we'll uh we'll be back all right gergi's gonna try the first green tamale oh yeah mm -hmm. mm. is it good yeah, this is bomb this is bomb. one out of ten, ten. yeah for sure <laughs> this is bomb this all right, Grandma, let's show them how you're doing your uh, maseca ones. I'm just, because uh, I, I can't eat too much of the masa or the salt. I'm just doing my uh, maseca without uh, salt. And without salt. And uh, she put vegetable oil yeah. instead of lard. Exactly, yeah. Cause I, I so can't. it's a healthier way for Grandma to enjoy tamales. Yeah. I put a little, just a little bit because it, the meat has a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. so I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you're wrapping it in and uh, parchment, parchment paper. Uh huh. There you go. For sure. If they're really tight, in, uh, the paper. There like a go. burrito. Like a burrito. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I embarrar the tamal. Get a little blob. I like to lay it flat because I ain't got all the scale. And I use the spatula. And I'll bring it up from the edge uh, to about midway. And I don't like my masa thick, so that's good for me. Add a heaping spoon of that carne and chile rojo. Not too big because then it ain't gonna close. Then I like to add two green olives. I'm gonna wrap one one edge and then the other. Fold it up. We use parchment paper. Roll it like a burrito. And voila. And voila. Voila, <laughs> voila. That's good. Thank you. All right, my turn to taste the red one. Look at that, you guys. Get to nada. Oh. Oh yes, yeah, nice and moist. Look at that. Look at that steam. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is good. And I'll be back when I taste the green chili one. Mmm. -hmm. You're asking for me, man, not you. Whatever, Omar. <laughs> All right, guys, we did 10 pounds. Um, this is the next 10 pounds of masa. This is for our green pork that we made. So I'm going to just smear some masa on there. And we're going to add some of that yummy green pork. Green chili pork. Mm, it's to die for. I like two olives. Oh, I have to fold it up. Oh, Grandma, you better put olives. That's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're going to just roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Oh, no, no, no. And there you go. Here we are again. Hey. Doing the green chili ones. Yep. Oh. Yes, I'm tired already. Big old I okay. am tired. This is it for me. And we still got, what, 20 pounds of masa in the uh, fridge? Yep. Yeah, we'll get to those tomorrow or another day. Mm-hmm. Los tamalitos. Look at how my cousin Aries does them. Nice and smooth. <laughs> I try. She learning. Get this it, This one's cause. a big one and it keeps folding, but it's all right. It's mm. okay. You got it, ma. All right. So, to this, we're just going to add the meat. Oh, 
that's going to be a fat daddy. I want no, that one. That's my, <laughs> that's my taster. Mm -mm. And two olives. And bam. Bam, bam. And Thank you, ma'am. Wrap it up. There you go. Ooh, this one's mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Woo! That's a fat one. Dang. Mm -hmm. That was a big one, huh? And then we're going to put it down on the parchment paper. And roll it like a burrito. I'm a burrito. I've been telling y'all, they big burritos. Yep. All right, guys. And this is what our tabalis look like. That's nothing compared to what we got. We put a whole bunch in the freezer. It's 8.31 p.m. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the green chili tamale. Okay. Don't tell me. Just okay. take as many as you want, cause that way all the kids and Manuel can get some. Oh, yes. for sure. Okay, guys. I told you I was gonna show you guys. Let me check over. Um, we had leftover masa, so I just added um a can of the cream style corn and a can of kernel corn, and it makes it more um like watered down. You just put a blob and stick a pizza, a piece of mozzarella cheese in there. And this is how it looks. Mm. Oh, and we also put a can of the diced green tomatoes to make it spicy because y'all know we like spice in my family. So I'm going to go ahead and eat. Oh, look at that cheese pull. I'm going to go ahead and take this for you guys. Take a bite. Take a bite. Give it back. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god. So good, so hot. You guys, this is my fourth tamale today. <laughs> I have one of the red beef, two of the green chili pork, and then this is my fourth one. Somebody stop me. No. <laughs> I could keep going and going. Exactly. Tomorrow, but baby. Tomorrow I'm with so the coffee. tired. I don't like it with coffee. You don't? Nope. An ice uh, cold soda. With eggs. Ooh, mm. with the... Good idea, because... Let me know in the comments below if you guys like tamales with a fried egg on top when you crack that yolk. Oh, my gosh. Or a coffee. No coffee, shush. Coffee team with Omar over here. Don't listen to him. He's in one of his moods. Look at that cheese pool. Mm. This one is cheesy. I love it. Mm. Yeah, but there was one that had like a little spot like this. Okay. Just mm. Oh my god. I wish I could send you guys tamales mm, through P.O. boxes, but you can't. So y'all's gonna have to just follow my word and just know they is gold. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's good. Ooh. Give me a little piece of that one. Can I have some green salsa, babe? You can have the rest. Uh, yeah. No, I don't eat pork meat. No. No. Okay, this is the leftover um, oh green chili that I did for the pork. So I'm going to add a little bit of this salsa on top of my tabali. Mmm, spicy. Don't throw that over, Siko. Mmm. You guys, we did... 20 pounds of masa today and we got green chili pork and beef and we have still 20 pounds of raw masa in our fridge that we have to make we're gonna mm. Mm. we're gonna make some de rajas and more red beef Cause let me tell you, me and my grandma, 
I think for the um, past four to five months, we had been on the lookout for the meat because I knew the prices were going to go up around Christmas time. We got them for like $6 a pack of the roast beef. We went to Fry's yesterday. They were like 20 20 and um, 35 I seen. I was like, oh, heck no. Good thing we stocked up. <laughs> Last bite. Mmm. I am so tired. Well, thank you guys so much for sticking around until the end. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys are not yet a part of Gold Disney Nation, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love to you all. Bye.